So we'll start with a little bit of activation and um, mobility work. Because what I want to do today is work on sort of getting around ourselves. A lot of twisting with the hope of creating a little bit of a different perspective. I think sometimes when the scenery doesn't change that much, it can feel difficult, at least for me, to change my perspective and my viewpoint. So with the idea of twisting and getting around ourselves, my hope is that we can see things a little bit differently, okay? So start in a tabletop position and we'll take uh, hands directly under shoulders, knees directly under hips. And instead of cat-cow to begin, inhale to let your chest sag towards the floor. So you feel shoulder blades sink towards one another. Fill up with breath. Exhale, push into the ground, spread your shoulder blades towards your armpits. So it's less of a cat, but more engagement of your shoulder blades. Inhale to sink and notice shoulder blades sink towards each other. Exhale, push through your hands and feel shoulder blades spread apart. Inhale, sink a little. Exhale, push, shoulder blades spread towards armpits. Do three more, inhale, exhale, inhale. So the hope is that we get the feeling, right, of gravity having its way with you versus you create your roots, you support yourself. Last time. Now keep that sense of rooting into the ground and take your right hand behind your head. Right elbow will point to the right side. Now keep the grounding through your left hand that you just created. Inhale to open up to the right side. Right elbow goes up, feel right shoulder blade engage. When you exhale, touch right elbow towards left wrist. Inhale, push the ground away with your left hand. Feel both shoulder blades connect. Exhale, elbow towards wrist. Inhale, open up, push through the left hand. Imagine even dragging it to the left. Exhale, elbow towards wrist. So not super fast, but trying to feel for the engagement. Inhale fully, feel both shoulder blades. Exhale, elbow to wrist. One more just like this. Now, inhale, open up, stretch the right arm straight up. And exhale, thread the right arm under the left for thread the needle. Lie down on the back of the right shoulder, right side of your head. Now, left hand is in a push-up position to help support you and turn your chest open. You can stay right here. Or stretch your left leg straight out. And you can reach the right hand to hold the outer left ankle. Perhaps you'd like to extend left arm forward as you reach your sit bones backwards. Take a couple of deep breaths. Try to feel right ribs spread apart. Now set your left hand in that push-up position. Unwind two hands to the floor, two knees to the floor. And then breathe in. Again, let your chest sink. Feel the disconnect at the shoulder blades. Exhale, push into the floor. Feel that conscious foundation. Keep that left hand behind your head. Open up to the left. Pause here. Feel left shoulder blade engage. Feel right hand push down but almost drag to the right as well. When you exhale, left elbow towards right wrist. Inhale, push the ground away, open up. Exhale, elbow towards wrist. Inhale, root down. Feel for how much rotation you can create. Exhale, curl in. So using the engagement to focus the rotation at thoracic spine. Exhale, elbow to wrist. Two times, breathe in to open. Exhale fully. 
Inhale, root down. Exhale, curl in. Now this time, inhale, left arm straight up. Exhale, thread it under the right. Lay down on the back of the left shoulder. Maybe you stay or maybe you step the right foot out to the right. If you do, you can grab hold of that outer shin or ankle. Stay as you are. Imagine reaching both sit bones up. Or walk the right fingertips forward. And imagine getting longer from right fingertips out through your sit bones. Feel the breath in left side of your rib cage, left side of your body. Last full breath here. Plant the right hand, push down, release, two hands to the floor. Now, cat cow, breathe in, draw your heart forward. Exhale, push into your hands, hollow belly. Just two times, breathe in, drag your heart through your arms, and exhale, push into the floor. Once more. Walk your hands forward, a handprint and go back, downward facing dog. Now take all of the movements that you like to take in down dog. For me, calves always feel really tight, so I wanna focus there, but notice if you want a little more hamstring focus, if you'd like to tip your hips from one side to the other, just get the things that you need here. And then notice in your down dog, the feeling of relaxing the backside of your neck, but notice if that makes you pull your chin towards your chest. Soften the front of your neck as well. So you might gaze at the center of your mat instead of super far back. Just get a feel for your neck, your jaw. Now long inhale, sweep the left leg up in the air. Exhale, slowly tap your left toes down to the mat. Inhale, sweep your left leg up in the air. Exhale, tap your toes down to the mat. Now once more, inhale, raise the left leg. Exhale, step forward, lunge. Inhale, reach the left arm up in a twist. Exhale, wrap the left arm under the left leg, palm towards your heart. Inhale, open up, press through the right hand like we did already. Exhale, left palm to heart. Once more, inhale fully. Exhale completely. Breathe in, open that arm high. Exhale, two hands down, go back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, lift your sit bones. Inhale, sweep the right leg straight up. Exhale, keep it straight, tap the toes towards the floor. Inhale, raise it up from the top of your hamstring. Exhale, tap the toes down. Once more, inhale, rise up. Exhale, step forward, lunge. Inhale, right arm up. Twist, exhale, wrap the right arm under the right leg. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, square towards the floor. Once more like this. Inhale, open up, big wingspan. Exhale, two hands down, back to downward facing. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Exhale, tuck toed upward facing dog. So keep the toes as they are. Push through your hands and lift your collarbones. Breathe in. Exhale, lift your belly button downward facing. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. 
Keep a tiny bend in the standing leg. Exhale, tap your toes down. Inhale, raise the left leg from the top of the hamstrings. Exhale, tap your toes down. Once more, inhale, raise it up. Exhale, step forward, lunge. Now on fingertips, breathe in, reach your chest forward. Exhale, keep the chest reaching forward as you lift your sit bones towards pyramid. Inhale, lunge, broad collarbones. Exhale, keep the flat back as you lift your sit bones up. Once more, breathe in, lunge. Exhale, long pyramid pose. Inhale, lunge. And exhale, twist, left arm up. Breathe in, pull your chest towards your left kneecap. And exhale, push the right hand into the floor. Imagine even dragging it to the right and feel the engagement that creates at the right shoulder. One more breath in. Exhale, two hands down. Downward facing dog, bend your knee with the left leg, open your hip. Keep a little bend in that standing leg so you can lift sit bones a little higher. Now imagine, reaching left knee a little bit higher. Take one more full breath. Stretch the left leg straight, level out your hips and two feet down on the floor. Long inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, tap your toes down. Inhale, raise it up. Exhale, tap your toes. Notice if the front of the neck is working. Inhale, raise your right leg. Exhale, step forward, lunge. On fingertips, inhale, reach through. Exhale, lift your sit bones, but keep your heart reaching through. Bend the front knee, inhale. Keep the flat back, exhale, sit bones up for pyramid. One more breath, inhale. Broad collarbones, exhale, sit bones high. Inhale, lunge. Plant the left hand, exhale, right arm up. Inhale, reach your heart towards right kneecap. Exhale, push through the left hand, down into the floor, but also imagine dragging it to the left. One more breath in. Exhale, two hands down, three-legged dub. Bend your knee, open your hip. Now look at that standing leg for a moment. Notice if it's locked. Try to unlock it. Raise the right knee using your deep glutes. Press into both hands, take one more breath. Stretch the right leg straight, level out your hips. Two feet down on the floor. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Exhale, tuck toed upward facing dog. Push into your hands, breathe in, get taller. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come to hands and knees for a moment. So I think we did this last week, but there are options with this. We'll start regular tabletop. Then flip the left hand back, flip the right hand back. Left forward, right forward. Left back, right back. Left forward, right forward. Now, if this is intense on your wrists, please stay in your tabletop, okay? If it's reasonable to add more weight, then you come to plank. Flip the left, flip the right. Flip the left, flip the right. Now you keep going. And notice that your hips want to do this tick-tocking thing side to side. Do your best to use your core, minimize the shifting of your weight side to side. So your feet are going to press into the ground, your hands press into the ground. Try to prevent the rocking. Now when you come straight ahead, switch right first, then left. Right first, then left. So you have to stabilize in a slightly different way. Feel the strength of your legs in your plank. 
just maybe 20 seconds. And then both hands straight ahead, downward facing dog. Inhale fully, exhale completely. Inhale, let your head hang. Walk your feet forward to meet your hands. So this might be a place if you have a block, you might want it. So forward fold at the front of your mat. Breathe in, come up halfway. Exhale, hang your head down heavy. Tuck your left leg behind your right. Now do your best to cross at your knees rather than crossing at your ankles. And then feel the back knee push into the front knee so you don't end up with the back leg locked but there's still engagement there. Prop on fingertips or hands on your block. Walk forward with your fingers and pull your collarbones forward. So you might stay with hands on the block, but either way, walk your arms out at 45 degrees to the right. So as though you're reaching towards 130 on a giant clock. Pull your collarbones forward. Try to press into both feet. Then walk your hands over towards about 1030. Fit to the left. Keep pressing into both feet. Extend your heart towards your fingertips. Take two breaths. Walk your hands back to the center. Step the left foot, left leg in front of the right. So you might notice right away that this cross is different. For me, this is much more challenging. I really wanna lock out the back leg. Do your best to unlock it. Hug right knee into left knee. Walk your arms forward. And instead of dropping the head, look where you wanna go. Look forward. Come out of the turtle shell leading with your collarbones, with your chest, not just your chin. Walk your arms to the right, that 45 degree angle. Feel both feet root, thighs hug, and extend your heart forward. Walk through the center, over to the left. Pull your chest towards your fingertips. Notice if one way is more challenging than the other. And don't walk so far that feet come up off the floor. Walk your hands back to the center. Uncross your feet. Fill up with breath and a flat back. Exhale, hang your head really heavy. Breathe in, stand up, reach all the way up. Exhale, palms in front of your heart. Whew, I don't know about you, but that creates heat for me immediately. Breathe in, sweep your arms up. Hold on to the left wrist and side bend to the right. Breathe in, push into both feet. Exhale, stretch a little further to the right. Breathe in, come back to neutral. Hold the right wrist, reach left. Inhale, get a little taller. Exhale, reach a little further. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold yourself in half. Bend your knees, sit down, lie down. Nothing too fancy as far as transition, but wrap the left leg around the right. So not just ankle to knee, but cross your thighs. Lift the right foot up off the floor. If you can hook your shins, great. If not, great. Everybody squeeze your shins towards each other. Clasp your hands behind your head. Keep your head on the ground, but point your elbow tips to the ceiling. Full breath in, squeeze your shins. Exhale, lift your elbows straight to the ceiling. 
So it's less of a curling chin to chest, more lifting your gaze, lift your heart up straight to the ceiling. Squeeze your legs. Now imagine my hands were under your heels and pull your heels down into that imaginary resistance. Pull belly to the floor. Rest your head down. I promise we won't do many. Inhale, fan your toes, squeeze your legs. Exhale, lift your upper body. Breathe in, squeeze the legs some more. Exhale, lift your chest. Pull heels down like there's resistance. Pull belly button down. Rest your head on the floor. Inhale, squeeze your legs. Exhale, lift your chest up, up, up to the sky. Inhale, fully squeeze. Exhale, pull heels towards your butt. Pull your belly button to the floor. Rest your head down. Stay with me. Stack your hands mid-thigh. Do your best not to hold your knees, but mid-thigh. Fill up with breath. Spread the low back. Exhale, push your hands into your thighs. Pull your thighs up into your hands. Keep your head on the floor. So strong isometric between hands and legs. Pull belly button down to the mat. Release the pressure, keep your position. Breathe in, exhale, push. Hands into thighs, thighs into hands. You can imagine that feeling of hamstrings turning on, heels towards your butt, belly button towards the floor. Ooh, you release everything. Set your feet down, knock your knees in, and rest your hands on your belly. So for me, abdominals are, um, not just difficulty for the sake of difficulty. They are, uh, of course, to create strength and stability, but also to connect you to fortitude, dedication, this center, your second brain, your gut, that place of feeling and intuition rather than the place of swirling in your mind, okay? So that's the intention. It may or may not be your experience with abdominals. Right leg on top of the left. Fortunately, you only have two legs. Lift the left foot up off the floor. Hook your shins or squeeze your shins. Clasp your hands behind your head. Switch the finger that's on top behind your head. So just to change the pattern a little bit. Squeeze your thighs. Fill up with breath. Exhale, lift your chest, your elbows to the ceiling. Inhale, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, pull your heels down like there's resistance. Lift your heart, belly down. Rest your head on the floor. Fill up with breath. Exhale, lift upper body. Breathe in to squeeze. Exhale, lift your chest. Pull like your heels could pull to your butt, navel to the mat. Rest your head, breathe in fully. Spread the low back. Exhale, lift upper body. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, lift your elbow tips. Pull heels down. Pull belly down. Release everything to the floor. Holy moly. Stack your hands mid-thigh. Breathe in. Spread the low back. Exhale, push hands into thighs. Thighs lift up into your hands. Imagine pulling heels down. Feel back to the legs turn on. Pull belly button down. Release that pressure. Just one more. Fill up with breath. Exhale, push. Hands into thighs. Thighs into hands. Squeeze your legs. Pull heels down. Pull belly button straight down. And release everything. Knock your knees into each other. Rest your hands on your belly. And smooth out the edges of your breath. Notice if you feel a little bit of heat. Turn onto one side. We'll go downward facing dog. In this down dog, shorten it just a little bit. So you walk your hands back a handprint, bend your knees, tilt your sit bones up. Now, press into the right hand, left arm comes across and underneath. So you reach to grab outer right ankle or shin or heel. Press 
into your left foot quite a bit because you'll notice your weight wants to lean to the right. Push into the left hand so strongly, your left foot, excuse me, to feel both of your sit bones rise. Now start to take your gaze up and under the right armpit. Slightly different perspective. Couple of breaths. Slow motion release, two hands down. Plant your left hand. Lift your sit bones and sweep the right arm across and under. Hold outer left shin, ankle, or heel. Now what you hold is not so important, but feel that your weight wants to hang heavy onto left arm and left leg. Push into the right foot to lift both sit bones higher in the air. Turn your gaze up and under the left armpit. Shift your focal point. Three breaths. Slow motion release. Walk out your down dog to its normal length. Don't worry, we won't stay too long. Deep breath in, sweep the left leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip. Now instead of tipping over to the right, feel the left knee go higher. Keep a little bend in your standing leg. Take one more breath. Level at your hips. Step forward, lunge. Tap the back knee down, back foot down. Bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Line up heel of your hand with heel of your foot and then squeeze left arm and left leg tight together. Turn your hips towards the floor so your chest is reaching forward for a moment. Hug left arm and left leg and then start to turn your chest to the right. And you'll notice that hips want to go with you, but do your best to point hips down towards the floor. Press the pinky toe side of your back foot. Then breathe in, extend heart forward. Exhale, push into the left hand, turn your chest, maybe turn your gaze up to the right fingertips. Feel the roots in the back foot, take one more breath. And release, two hands down. Shift your hips back, Ardha Hanuman half split. Another place for a block, if you'd like it, but we'll work with heart reaching forward instead of nose to shin. Feel a little anchor in the left foot and point and flex the left foot. And you might notice a variation in the hamstring stretch when you point and flex. One more breath. Now bend the front knee. Lift your back knee, plant the right hand, maybe uh, four to six inches away from the left foot. Inhale, reach your chest forward. Exhale, twist, left arm up. Breathe in, reach your chest towards the left knee. Exhale, revolve. Good, maybe shift the gaze up towards left fingers. Push the right hand into the ground and to the right. You can stay right here or turn your feet to the left. Oftentimes you have to slide the left foot back a bit for this two-legged version of side plank. Then sweep the left arm up and over your ear. Stomp into your feet and notice that perhaps you get a little more outer hip stretch on the left when you raise your hips higher. Maybe you get a little more stretch between the ribs when you reach through the left arm. Release, two hands down. Go back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, lift your hips. Inhale, rise onto tiptoes. Exhale, sink your heels back, but keep your sit bones up. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, sink your heels. Last time, breathe in. Exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Keep a little bend in the standing leg. 
Now raise the right knee a little bit higher using those deep glutes on the right side. Fill up with breath. Exhale, stretch it straight. Breathe in, level out your hips. Exhale, step forward, lunge. Tap the back knee down, back foot down. Right hand inside the right foot. Line up, heel of your hand with the heel of your foot. Now extend your chest forward. Feel your hip points reaching forward. Now hug right arm and right leg together. Turn your upper body, but try to keep your hips pointing down towards the floor. It's a little bit tricky. Feel the pinky toe side of the back foot. Press it down, not only for balance, but to help you keep your hips pointing forward. Press through the right arm, turn your chest, maybe gaze up towards the left fingers. Extend your heart towards the front of your mat. Exhale, maybe there's another millimeter to twist. Release, both hands down, Ardha Hanuman half split. Go for the flat back as best you can. A little bit of anchor in the right heel. Point and flex your foot. The amount of motion I'm not so concerned with, but feel for the variation in the hamstring stretch. Last time. Bend the front knee, lift your back knee, plant left hand about four to six inches from your left, from your right foot. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, twist to the right. Now, instead of the concern being the depth of revolution, notice that when you inhale and reach your heart forward, exhale, you might find there's more available in the twist. Inhale, extend your heart forward a millimeter. Exhale, maybe turn the heart up towards the right fingers. Two more breaths. Maybe shift eyes up. Feel left hand root down. And then stay as you are or turn your feet to the right. You can scoot the right foot back a fair bit so that you can stand down into two feet. Lift your hips up. Reach the right arm up and over your ear. And feel for outer hip stretch, perhaps side body stretch as you reach over your ear. One more breath. Two hands down, go back, downward facing. Now you can do the raising and lowering toe tips to heel sinking or rock forward. Connecting vinyasa as you like. Tuck toe up dog, cobra pose, or upward facing on the tops of your feet. But feel pinky sides of your feet root down. Feel your heart rise. Exhale, go back, downward facing. Now walk your hands and feet to the middle of your mat. Breathe in, come up halfway. Exhale, hang your head heavy. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart. We'll keep feet this hip width distance apart. And if you're not sure, do the two fists measurement, right? So we get out of the funhouse mirror um, goggles that we tend to have, uh, but to get the structural measurement. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, chair pose. Now imagine in your chair that you have one of those circular bands around your thighs and imagine pressing your knees out into that band. Not so they go wider than your feet, they're gonna stay the same distance, but you turn on your side glutes. Breathe in, exhale, palms together, twist to the left. Notice the right knee wants to jut forward, tack it back a little. Press into both feet, press into both arms to help you revolve. Now, same work. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, see where you can go in the twist. Now, you can stay right here or bring the right 
armpit outside of the left knee. Perhaps fly your arms, but feel your knees, especially that left one. It tends to get pushed inward by the right arm. Press it out into your arm and see if that gives your back any more space. You might look up, turn around yourself, Release into a forward fold. Breathe into a flat back. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, stand and reach up. Exhale, palms to heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, chair pose. Press your knees into that imaginary band. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, twist to the right. Notice left knee tends to jut forward. Tack left sit bone back. Imagine pushing your knees out into that circular band and then push with your arms. Inhale, heart forward a millimeter. Exhale, see what's available in the twist. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, see what's available. Stay with palms together or left fingers down to the floor. Press right knee out into that left arm. Breathe in, heart forward. Exhale, maybe you can shift your perspective up. Slow motion, release. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hang your head down. Walk to downward facing. Now inhale, ripple forward to plank. Tuck to an upward facing dog. Push into your hands, spread your collarbones. Strengthen your legs here. And exhale, go back, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Now, instead of bending your knee, keep the left leg straight as you open your hip. Now, feel the pinky toe side of the left foot rising towards the ceiling. You'll feel those deep glutes turn on. Now, stay as you are, breathe, or prop on the right fingertips. Keep your eyes steady, breath steady. Stay here, or Reach the right fingertips further backwards. Stay here with breath or reach the right hand to hold right calf, maybe the right heel, and chances are you'll wobble. You might even fall over. And the great news there is that you're merely human. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> and you just try again. Set your gaze, steady your breath, Maybe try the balance. Slow motion, two hands to the floor. Level out your hips, step forward, lunge. Spin the back foot flat for warrior two shape. Now left hand, externally rotate and turn fingers back. Line up the heel of your hand with the heel of your foot this could be a place to set your block under your hand as well. Hug, arm and leg tight together. Imagine hips pointing towards the front of the mat. Left sit bones swing it towards the back of your mat. Now rotate in the upper body. Push the ground away with your left hand like we've been working the whole time. Press into both feet. Imagine hips pointing straight to the front of the mat and then rotate upper body. Maybe shift your gaze up towards the right fingers. Feel your roots. It's not casual, but they're very intentional. Release two hands down. Lift the back heel in a lunge. Step it forward, back foot a couple of inches, and then lift your sit bones for pyramid pose. So like we did in the half split, we're gonna to try to keep this flat back quality. So I'd much prefer a little bend in the front knee so that you can lift your sit bones up higher 
and maybe walk your fingertips forward. Pull your collarbones forward as you lift your sit bones high and back. Soften the breath. Now shift your right hand outside of the left foot. You can do fingers forward. You can flip fingers backwards if you'd like. If balance is a little funky, I would say right hand inside the left foot. You can always add your block there, okay? But you can keep a little bend in the front knee. Lift your sit bones. Now breathe in, reach your heart forward. Exhale, left arm up, revolve your chest up towards left fingers. Breathe in, heart forward a millimeter. Exhale, see what's available in the twist. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, press into the floor with the right hand. Two more breaths. Slow motion release. Two hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, high on tiptoes. Exhale, sink your heels, hang your head. Inhale, fully to rise. Exhale, completely head like a bowling ball on a string. One more breath. Exhale, sink your heels. Inhale, raise the right leg up, three-legged dog. Keep that leg straight as you open your hip. Feel pinky toe side of the right foot rising. Stay here or prop on left fingertips. Steady your eyes, steady your breathing. If there's room, slide the left fingertips back. If there's room in the breath, primarily, Reach the left hand back for the left calf, perhaps left heel. Breath. Steady gaze. If you wobble, you simply start again. No story about it, just start again. Set your roots and then you see what's available. Two hands to the floor, level out your hips, breathe in. Exhale, step forward, lunge. Spin the back foot for warrior two legs. Right hand inside the foot. Rotate your right hand back. So you line up the heel of your hand with the heel of your foot. Again, block could be a great idea here. Hips, imagine pointing left hip forward. Swing this right sit bone straight backwards towards the left heel. So you've got this squaring of your hips. Then press right arm, right leg together to open your heart up. Inhale, extend your heart forward a millimeter. Exhale, see what's available. Now with this idea of looking up, the hope is that it's not just your neck that's doing it that we've got thoracic spine helping to set the foundation of the twist. So the head is following and not leading. Release, two hands down. Pick up the back heel in a lunge and step that foot forward just a couple of inches. Lift your sit bones up for pyramid pose. Keep somewhat of a bend or a deep bend in that right knee so you can feel sit bones. Tilt up any amount. If there's room, walk your fingers forward. Extend your collarbones forward as you reach your sit bones up and back. Conscious breath. Fill yourself up. Clear yourself out. Now set the left hand outside of the right foot. And that might require a little more of a bend in the right knee, that's okay. You can flip the left fingers backwards if you like that. If you'd like a little more balance, 
left hand inside of the right foot. All are great options. Now do the same work. Inhale, heart forward any amount. Exhale, push into the ground to help you twist. Again, front leg perfectly straight is not the priority, but creating length in your spine is. Sit bones rise. Inhale, heart forward a millimeter. Exhale, push the ground away. You might notice that the balance is different side to side as you look up. Slow motion release. Hands to the floor, step back, downward facing dog. And then you decide, raise and lower your heels or rock forward to plank, any connecting vinyasa that you like. Feel strong legs and feel your heart rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your hands and feet to the middle of your mat. Breathe in, come up halfway. Exhale, hang your head down. Inhale, stand, reach all the way up. Exhale, palms to your heart. One more higher energy shape and then we'll take it lower, okay? Stand on the left foot, bring right knee towards your chest. Wrap the right leg around for eagle pose. Right arm under the left. Now option to stay right here. Feel the strength of your standing leg and the lift of your chest. Or bring your elbows towards your knees. If you go elbows towards your knees, reach heart forward, sit bones backwards. If you're interested in arm balancing, unhook your shins if they are. Unwind your arms, it's a little bit of a trust fall to the right, bend your elbows, Knees are hooked high on your armpits, and then maybe you extend out through your feet for Koinonyasana. It's revolved triangle, but a different relationship to gravity. Two feet down on the floor, forward fold, hip width apart. Breathe in fully, feel the strength of your legs. Exhale, head heavy. Inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart. Stand on the right leg. Left knee towards your chest. Wrap, left leg around the right. Hook your shins or squeeze legs together. Both are perfect. Wrap left arm under the right. Set your eyes. Cultivate the breath. If there's room, reach heart and elbows forward. Send your sit bones backwards. Stay here, smooth out the breath. Or unhook your shins, unhook your arms, take your arms left, tip to the left, knees are high in your armpits, Press through finger pads as you pull your chest forward. Keep arms crossed or extend them. Push out through the balls of your feet. Press into your palms, reach your heart forward. Unwind. Two feet to the ground, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Open mouth, hang your head. Inhale, stand all the way up. Strong legs. Exhale, palms to heart. Hooey. Have a seat. So this is a great place to grab your blanket. Um, if you don't have a blanket, couch pillow could work perfectly. You can also roll up the back of your mat about halfway and that will create a little roll a little boost for you to sit on. And I wanna do Agni Stambhasana to wind down. Left shin on the bottom, right shin on the top. Now, 
The idea with Agni Stambhasana is that your feet are wider than your knees. If that's not possible, if it's very, very sticky, bring the right heel in front, I know that's hard to see, right heel in front of the left knee. Then you have that same shape where feet are wider than knees, okay? Flex your feet, pinky toe sides, root down. Prop your hands in front. Try to extend your heart forward. So we're not going for down, but we're going for length, right? So often with our arms, we end up pushing and we push ourselves into the turtle shell. So instead, feel that your fingertips are pulling. So you spread out your collarbones and lengthen your spine. Yeah, that looks great, you guys. Listen for the breath and let that tell you if there's room to walk fingers further forward. Not whether you can force your body into it, but whether breath and body's response indicate that that's a reasonable choice. Now, either in upright or in your partial fold, walk your arms over to the left. So a couple of options here. You can stay in this side bend, reach to the left. You can set right elbow into the arch of the right foot, make a fist, stack the left hand. Inhale, extend your heart forward like we've done all along, and exhale, root through your arms, create any amount of twist. If you're upright, you can do the same work. Inhale to grow a little longer, a little taller. Exhale, see what's available in the twist. And everybody, feel right sit bone. Oftentimes that right sit bone is gonna lift up off of whatever surface you're sitting on. Try to keep that right sit bone anchored down. Slowly unwind your twist. Walk your arms any amount forward. Bring yourself back to upright. Lean back on your hands. Shake out your legs a bit. Right shin on the bottom. Left on top. So you want sit bones on top of the blanket, uh, perhaps center of your pelvis, your perineum, the place between pubic bone and uh, coccyx. Okay, it's that uh, pelvic floor hammock. If that's supported, we tend to feel plugged in and a lot more supported and stable. Remember, if left leg on top is not reasonable, left heel out in front of right knee is totally perfect, okay? Prop your hands in front if that's reasonable. And again, forget about depth, but go for length of your spine, length of your breath. Do your best to soften the whole interior of your mouth. Your brow, but also the muscles of your eyes. Sometimes the eyeballs are sort of jumping forward out of the skull, ready for action, right? See if you can soften the muscles in the eye sockets, let your eyes soften back. Walk your arms any amount to the right. You can do this in upright, you can do this in the fold. Now reach your heart forward in the side bend, breathe here, or add the twist, left elbow, into the arch of the left foot. Make a fist and stack right hand on top. Breathe in to pull your heart forward, maybe even take your gaze forward. Then exhale, turn from root of the spine all the way up. Head is following, not leading. Each time you breathe in, heart forward a millimeter. 
each time you breathe out, see what's available. Turn your gaze down, unwind your arms, extend your arms forward. And walk yourself back to upright. Lean back onto your hands, shake out your legs. Extend your legs straight out in front of you, move your blanket or move your cushion. Reach your arms forward. Anchor your thighs, anchor your heels. Now they'll wanna come up off the floor at some point as you lower back, but keep rooting your heels, keep rooting your thighs. Press heels, press thighs, press heels, press thighs. One vertebra at a time. When you arrive on your back, take any position that you would like to rest in. Could be Shavasana. Could be supta, baddha konasana, feet together, knees wide. Knees knocked into each other, legs up the wall pose. But for a couple of minutes, just be sure that you feel really supported. Take a moment to register the feeling of the earth rising up to meet you. So we take the time to acknowledge, to recognize that we always have that support should we choose to pause long enough to feel it. Something as simple as that can totally shift my perspective. energizing breaths. And if you need a deeper rest, please stay exactly as you are. And then if you're ready, start to awaken fingers, toes, and perhaps roll your head from side to side. Reach your arms up overhead, full body stretch. Notice if you feel any longer. And 
hug your knees in and curl to one side, whichever feels good for you. Press through your arms, rise all the way up. Join your palms together in front of your heart. Bow your chin and raise your chest. Take a full breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale it out. Inhale through your nose. Pause at the top. Like you're sipping a straw, take in one short sip through your mouth. Soften in the fullness. Now open your mouth, release everything out. Pause in the stillness. Breathe in through your nose. Take in two short sips through the mouth. <laughs> soften your neck, soften your belly. Open mouth, complete release. Pause at the base. Inhale through your nose. Three short sips. <laughs> Soften here. Remember the fullness that you already have. Open your mouth like you're popping the cork. Empty everything. <sighs> Pause in the stillness. Easy breaths in and out. Thank you so much for joining me, for sharing your Sunday with me. It's such a delight to see your faces. Wishing you a great rest of your Sunday. Uh, may the practices be of benefit to you and to all beings. Have a wonderful day.